Hello and welcome to the second part of my three-part tutorial about Docker on Windows. In this video tutorial I like to show you how to replace the default git bash console with putty. The problem with the git bash console is that it doesn't handle line breaks and cursor keys properly. So we will download some putty files and configure it to work with boot to docker. So we go to the website putty.org and from there we choose the download link and here we download putty, page and and putty gen. So now I go to the download folder and from there I just copy the three files to my putty directory. So I will put it in here. And the next step will be to configure it to run with boot to docker. So the goal is actually to automatically log into the boot to docker VM using the private key that boot to docker created. So we use actually putty gen to convert the SSH file format um, for the private key into a format that putty understands. So we go to the .ssh directory and we choose all files and here we can see the um, private key we will open it and it's already imported and then we just have to save it I will put it into the uh, putty directory with uh, the ppk suffix so I will name it id boot to docker Well, and that's it. In the first step, I just want to log in using PuTTY um, and therefore I start the VM. The uh, SSH port of the VM is um, mapped um, on the host to port 2022. I start PuTTY And I enter under hostname IP address docker at localhost or 127.0.0.1. And the port is 2022. I save the session under the name boot to docker. Open. And then I have to enter the password. The default password is tcuser. And we are logged in. So in the next step, I will just show you how to automatically log in using page and therefore we will start the application if we double click on the page and icon. A window will open and we can add uh, the private key that we have just created. Uh, we close the window and then we can open PuTTY. There we will load our boot to docker session and if we open it then we are directly logged in without entering any password. So in the next step we will automate all the uh, manual steps and I've already prepared um, a batch file for this. Um, if we open this uh, batch file, um, it's we can see it's a one-liner actually. Um, so uh, page end is able to um, load the key and then execute um, an application, in this case uh, PuTTY. 
and putty itself is loading the boot to docker session so if we just um, call this batch file um, we can see we are automatically logged in to the boot to docker vm So after automating um, putty login, I just want to change some properties. I load the session once again. And um, under window, um, I change the columns to 160 because uh, Docker commands can be quite long and it's nasty if we have line breaks. And um, the window title, I will um, set it to uh, Docker. And uh, I want to change the foreground color uh, to green. So that's it. And then I just have to save uh, my boot to Docker session once again. Boot to Docker and save open and here we have the 160 column console that's it for the second part thank you for watching and goodbye